Welcome to our video where we'll be revealing the 103 things a real estate buyer's agent does for their clients. Buying a home can be one of the biggest decisions and investments of your life, which is why having a trusted professional by your side is crucial. In this video, we'll take you through the comprehensive lists of tasks and responsibilities that a real estate buyer's agent takes on to ensure a successful and stress-free home buying experience. Number one, prepare a buyer for executing a buyer representation agreement. Number two, explain agency relationships to the buyer and get a state required legal consent to represent if needed. Number three, inform the buyer of the working relationship based on the state law, the realtor's code of ethics, and the broker's business policies. Number four, learn the buyer's wants and non-negotiable needs. Number five, understand the buyer's budget and what they will be needing financially. Number six, help the buyer understand what property their choosing budget will buy. Number seven, consider having a buyer fill out a home buyer's checklist. Number eight, assist the buyer in examining how much they can afford to spend. Number nine, provide quality lender resources. Number 10, partner with the buyer to locate suitable properties for consideration. Number 11, match the buyer's needs with available properties. Number 12, consistently reevaluate buyer's needs and refocus property showings to fit their needs. Number 13, after ensuring the buyer understands what is being done for them, how it is done and the benefit to them, obtain signatures on the buyer representation agreement. Number 14, explain how compensation works, who pays for it and what is is the buyer's options when they are paying for it. Number 15, communicate the working relationship based on the state law, the realtor's code of ethics, and the broker's business policies. Number 16, explain federal and state fair housing law. Number 17, explain what to look for in applicable property disclosures. Number 18, reassure the buyer that the personal information will remain confidential. Number 19, inform the buyer that you will always disclose all known material defects. Number 20, in accordance with state law, provide information on checking the sex offender registry and crime statistics for the neighborhood. Number 21, discuss available resources that the buyer can check into to learn more about prospective neighborhoods. Number 22, explain the timeline for house hunting, mortgage approval, and closing. Number 23, explain the local market and how it impacts the buyer. Number 24, show statistics on what the percentage of list price sellers in the area are currently receiving. Number 25, inform the buyer on what the home features are, on what home features are popular. Number 26, identify current average days on market. Number 27, share the dangers of using the price per square foot to figure out home values. Number 28, explain the concept of absorption rates and how it impacts the buying process. Number 29, indicate current listing months of inventory. Number 30, share estimated potential out-of-pocket costs to complete the transaction. Number 31, assist the buyer in analyzing the home in the loan estimates. Number 32, qualify the buyer for financial ability of to purchase the home. Number 33, help the buyer account for the complete cost of home ownership. Number 34, prepare the lender for listing agent calls. Number 35, assist in comparing different financial options. Number 36, help the buyer select for viewing only those homes that fit their needs. Number 37, proceed in showing homes that fit the buyer's must-haves. Number 38, caution the buyer on per per posting information to social media. Number 39, review the sample sales contract so the buyer is prepared when it comes to making the offer. Number 40, schedule showings and provide access to the listed properties as soon as they become available in their local MLS broker marketplaces. Number 41, educate the buyer on the immediacy of new listings appearing in their local MLS broker marketplaces and the lag time for them to appear on some websites. Number 42, collaborate with the buyer on properties they may have learned about through their sphere contacts. Number 43, research and assist on all unlisted properties the buyer wishes to see. Number 44, prepare properties prior to showing if needed. Number 45, network with other agents to source properties not yet in their local MLS broker marketplaces. Number 46, contact homeowners in the focus area to see if they are considering selling. Number 47, set up an automated email alert system through the local MLS broker marketplaces that immediately notifies the buyer of properties that fit their discussed requirements. Number 48, arrange a tour of areas, schools, and key points of interest. Number 49, provide resources containing neighborhood information on municipal services, schools, etc. Number 50, inform the buyer of negative aspects like nearby venues or operations that could result in issues that could impact the value. Number 51, collect and share any other vital information on available homes, remembering to follow all fair housing laws at all times. Number 52, check applicable zoning and building restrictions. Number 53, help the buyer decide for public property and tax information. Number 54, collect and share pertinent data on values, taxes, and utility costs, etc. Number 55, 
It's with the buyer in getting the best property at the best price. Number 56 suggests that the buyer learn more about the neighborhood prior to making an offer. Number 57, prepare a comprehensive market analysis or CMA in advance of making an offer. Number 58, Prepare the buyer to have the most attractive offer in the current marketplace. Number 59, explain common contract contingencies and include approved protective clauses in the purchase offer. Number 60, ensure that the buyer receives and understands all state and federally required disclosure forms. Number 61, prioritize contract negotiation goals with the buyer. Number 62, help create a negotiation strategy. Number 63, use strategies such as an escalation clause to maintain a competitive offer. Number 64, prepare a buyer for multiple offer situations and develop negotiation strategies. Number 65, write an offer that is a reasonable chance of being accepted. Number 66, Six, recommend optional contingencies and explain the pros and cons of using them. Number 67, provide information on purchasing incentives that may be available. Number 68, discuss financing alternatives. Number 69, negotiate the buyer's offers to arrive at the best price and terms. Number 70, utilize hyper local expertise and strong communication skills to assist the buyer in being the successful offer's top choice. Number 71, advocate for the buyer throughout the entire process. Number 72, encourage the buyer to fully investigate their options in terms of a home inspector, title company, appraiser, mortgage lender, and other services. Number 73, present a list of all types of required and optional inspections, such as environmental roofing and mold. Number 74, review and discuss the home inspection concerns. Number 75, negotiate repair requests from the home inspection. Number 76, guide the buyer on meeting all contract deadlines. Number 77, assist in coordinating communication. Number 78, advise the buyer to review the settlement statement. Number 79, and Inform clients that they need to transfer utilities to the new residence. Number 80, schedule final walkthrough. Number 81, accompany the buyer on the final walkthrough. Number 82, assist the buyer in questioning the appraisal report if it affects the financing. Number 83, confirm clear to close with the lender. Number 84, ensure all properties have the forms and information needed to close the sale. Number 85, remind the buyer of the location where the closing will be held. Number 86, confirm the closing date and time and notify all parties if there are changes. Number 87, gather the required forms and documents for closing. Number 88, explain flood insurance to the buyer. Number 89, explain insurance to the buyer and refer the qualified insurance broker. Number 90, order the surveys needed. Number 91, order the appraisal. Number 92, order the title search. Number 93, confirm the status of the loan funding. Number 94, check addendums and alterations for agreed terms. Number 95, review the buyer's closing statement to ensure accuracy. Number 96, explain wire fraud risks and remind all clients to verify all wiring instructions before transferring funds. Number 97, double check all tax, homeowners association dues, utility, and applicable prorations if relevant. Number 98, request the closing figures from the closing agent. Number 99, receive and carefully review closing figures to ensure accuracy. Number 100, receive and carefully review title insurance commitment with the buyer. Number 101, Advise the buyer to rekey their locks and consider a one-time cleaning service or landscaping before the moving day. Number 102, review documents with the closing agent. And number 103, support the buyer in any final closing activities. Whew. Thank you for watching our video on the importance of having a buyer's agent when purchasing a home. If you've made it this far, chances are you recognize the value and benefits of working with a professional real estate agent. Remember, real estate agents are here to assist and guide you through the home buying journey. They have the expertise, experience, and resources to help you make the best decisions for arguably the largest financial decision of your life. So if you're in the market for a new home, be sure to consider hiring a buyer's agent. They will not only save you time and money, but also provide valuable support and guidance throughout the process. We hope you have found this video helpful and shed some light on the role of a real estate agent. Wishing you all the best in finding your dream home.